what lady would take mathematics instead of Latin? The idea of Hubble was something that was among the astronomical community for generations. It was not something that was new. Astronomers badly wanted a large telescope above the atmosphere. Well, I decided that if the aerospace companies were going to put a lot of money into designing a telescope, they might as well design one that made sense. So what I did was to bring together a collection of astronomers from all over the country trying to represent a variety of things that we might do with the telescope and to bring and some NASA engineers and get them to sit down together and come up with something that the engineers thought would work and that the astronomers thought would do their job. Well, I think I've always been curious. I, I just wanted to satisfy my curiosity, and astronomy in particular was a subject I wanted to learn more about. I blamed my mother because she used to take me out and show me the constellations and show me the northern lights, and things like that. I just was fascinated. When between fifth and sixth grade, I organized my friends into an astronomy club to study the constellations. And by seventh grade, I decided I wanted to be an astronomer and that I was going to try for it. I knew it was going to take me another 12 years of schooling, but I figured I'd try. And if I didn't make it, I probably could teach physics or math in high school. I certainly did not receive any encouragement. I was told from the beginning that women could not be scientists. In high school, one of the ex experiences I remember is I asked my guidance counselor for permission to take a second year of algebra instead of a fifth year of Latin. And she looked down her nose at me and sneered, what lady would take mathematics instead of Latin? The first encouragement I got was in my junior year at college when the head of the physics department came up to me in lab one day and said, you know, I usually try to talk women out of going into physics, but I think maybe you might make it. My main astronomical research area when I started out was what they call spectral classification, looking at stars, spreading the light out into a rainbow so that you could see the different colors separately. What I started out doing was looking at these spectra, looking at these rainbows, and deciding the temperature and the brightness of the stars. And then I was trying to find out how far away they were and how they moved. My thesis professor was one I often didn't get the support that I'd expected. There was a period in which he went for six months without speaking to me, even when I said hello to him in the hall. He, he didn't want to have anything to do with me. I didn't think I could get tenure as a research astronomer. I didn't think I could stay, as I say, in the academic community because I looked around and the, I think there was one other woman in astronomy who had tenure in this country, but I saw very uh, senior women who didn't have it. When NASA came along and offered me a job, I decided to take it. I started in NASA in 1959. It was six months old. When I joined the government, I was hired as a fresh PhD, in spite of the fact that I had not only six years of experience, but an international reputation. And uh, afterwards, I understood the reason. My salary at the university was so low that civil service did not recognize it as a professional experience. Being the first executive woman at NASA turned out not to be terribly uh, eventful. I, I was accepted very re re readily as a scientist and as in my job, the men were very cooperative. Then I felt that the men treated me as one of the team without a problem. Civil service had rewards for outstanding work, but it was they were limited to men someone decided that there should be something for women. In 1962, I received a Federal Women's Award. We all met with Kennedy in the course of receiving the award.
I'm happy about the fact that women can get senior jobs now, and they're not being quite as, as d discouraged as I was. But I think there are two things that I would like to see changed. One is salaries. Salaries are still not equal. And the other thing is I'd like to see more uniform women across the ranks. Women can get into senior positions in astronomy now, but they're, percentage wise, there's still few at the high levels. It's hard to, to, to decide how history will view my accomplishments. People generally aren't terribly interested in what gets things started. And so I'm not sure they're going to have much of an idea of my role.